there's no one like you All over the world Fly will be done Ray Lord Hey, I am that I am You're the one who made the heavens You saved the soul Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You are welcome to today's Prophetic Voice of the Nations, day 88. Day 88 of this year, 2024. We give God the glory for the opportunity that he has given to us to see this day. We are not taking it lightly all over the world. Let your name be glorified. We appreciate him. For he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the one that gave us the life. We just appreciate him. As we went back on this journey of I mean, praying for the nations, which we are in the nation of Africa, I mean, continent of Africa, we pray that you will join us in praying for the, for the nations in Africa. And also, we will ask our Mr. Orland again to usher us back to his presence. Over to you, Mr. Orland. great the chasm that lay between us how high the mountain I could not climb in desperation I turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night then through the then through the darkness your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Who could imagine? So great a mercy, what heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God of ages stepped down from glory to wear my sin and bear my shame. The cross has spoken, I am forgiven. Calls me his own beautiful Savior. I'm yours forever. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. Sealed the promise, your buried body began to breathe. Out of the silence, the roaring lion declared. 
clever grave has no claim on me. Then came the morning, that silver promise, your buried body began to breathe out of the Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are welcome to the prophetic nation this morning. You are welcome in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. You are welcome to stand in the gap for your nation. At the moment, we are going to pray for all. We are praying for all the nation in, in the continent of Africa. Today, we are going to pray for the nation called Cameroon, which is at the center of Africa and the western border between Nigeria and Cameroon. The second largest continent by geographic area after Asia. It's the most tropical and covers about one-fifth of the total land surface of Earth. With a population of 1.2 billion people, Africa has 54 countries fully recognized by the United Nations, two independent states with limited or no recognition, and several territories, mostly islands, controlled by non-African countries. For example, the Canary Islands are ruled by Spain. Nigeria is by far the largest country in terms of population, with more than 211 million people as of 2021. Seychelles, an Indian Ocean archipelago, made up of 115 islands, is Africa's smallest country, with a total population of about 98,000. Africa's population is the youngest of all the continents, with a median age of 19.7, in comparison to the global median age of 30.4. Africa is also the poorest continent, excluding Antarctica, by a wide margin. The region contains an enormous wealth of mineral resources, including some of the world's largest reserves of fossil fuels, metallic ores and gems, and precious metals. There is also a great diversity of biological resources, such as equatorial rainforests and populations of wildlife. Subsistence agriculture still dominates the economies of many African countries, and the exploitation of its mineral resources became the most significant economic activity in Africa in the 20th century. Religion in Africa has been a major source of influence on art, culture, and philosophy. Today, 
the continent's populations are mostly adherents of Christianity, Islam, and to a lesser extent, several traditional African religions. Religious beliefs are also sometimes characterized with syncretism that is mixed with the beliefs and practices of traditional religions. There are several thousand different societies or ethnic groups in Africa, and between 900 and 1,500 different languages are spoken. Ethnic or cultural differences in modern times have often been heightened, exacerbated, or muted for political reasons. Christianity came to Egypt in 50 AD and by the second century had spread to Ethiopia and Eritrea. Arabs brought Islam to North Africa in the 7th century and the Europeans brought Christianity and the transatlantic slave trade from the 16th to the 19th centuries. An estimated 10 million Africans were shipped to the New World as slaves. The European colonization on the 19th century scramble for Africa came to an abrupt end in the 1960s. Africa faces several challenges made worse by the recent poly crisis, that is, climate-related issues, the COVID-19 pandemic, and mounting conflicts. This has dampened economic activity and increased the burden of debt on countries. Economic growth remains uneven across the continent. The continent of Africa has the opportunity to harness the potential of its resources and people for its future development. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the continent of Africa. This morning we are going into Cameroon, which is at the Central Africa, at the border of Nigeria. So we are going to pray for our country, Cameroon, this morning. And there's a, you know, one thing about um, Cameroon is at the Central Africa, and the population is above 27, above, you know, above 27 million. It was first settled by the Bantus, by the Muslim, and by the Fulani. It was first colonized by the German, also, which is in 1820. 84. After that, I was colonized by the English and the French. One thing about Cameroon is that their economic is mixed by the government and by the private. But their income, their source of income is agriculture, is forestry, and, and fishery, and fishing. That is their, you know, their economic. For the educational se se um, section, the educational section is quite low due to increase of birth rates. That is, they have low educational system. Um, they have available seats for, for children, that is 1.4 million. But due to increased rate of birth rates, it's increased to 2.7 million seats. So the classrooms are quite overcrowded for the children to learn better education. Also, for the religion side of it, they have Christianity with different denominations. They have Islam as well. But one thing they mention about the Christian, they still go to, to the tribal spiritual side to seek help. But we need to pray that they should focus their, their mind on God, that on the living God. That is the God that created heaven, heaven, heaven and heart. Amen. For the media section, for the media section, there's only one newspaper for the whole country, and they have different private television and, um, and radio, which is privately owned. That's how they bring out their news to, you know, to, the, to the population. So the family section, they have different type of, they have three sets of family, which is polygamous, farm setting, and and in the polygamous tradition are modern. When they come to the polygamous, we have many wives and many children. And when they come to the, to the, to the traditional, it's only one wife with a lot of children. So one wife can bear eight children. That's increase in birth rates, and which can affect you know, the income of the country or 
they can see there's increase in, pro in the poverty that when it comes to high rates of feeding, feeding, sheltering, and housing, it has been a challenge in the nation of Cameroon. So we are going to pray for this country, for this nation, that God should intervene. We are going to pray that God should take over the government. And the president of the government is Paul, is Paul Bia, and it's only one controlled by the political, they have different type of political party, but Cameroon Republic Party has been in control for a long time, with a unitarian democratic. So we are going to pray, Father, take over Cameroon. Father, we just before we pray, we, let us take, thank God for the nation of Cameroon, that God has established himself in that nation. Let us lift up our voices. Let us say, Father, we thank you for the nation of Cameroon at the Central Africa. Father, I want to give glory unto you because you got the whole world in your hand. Let us say, Father, we thank because you are mindful of people who are over 27 million in that nation. Let us just say, Father, we thank you that you got the whole world. You know them by their name. Father, I want to worship you, O Lord. We give glory unto you. We thank you because you are the owner of the people. Father, we exalt your name, O Lord. Father, we just worship you. We give glory unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for the nation of Oninti to pray. That Father, look upon the land. Heal the land in the name of Jesus. And before we pray, we're going to say, Father, forgive us as an individual, as a nation. Father, we come into your presence this morning. Forgive us all our sin and wash up with your blood, O oh Lord. Father, we come into your presence this morning as Cameroon, Father. Father, forgive us, O oh Lord. All our shortcoming, all our downfall of not seeking your face or not depending upon you. Father, forgive us in the name of you. Have mercy upon us in the name of you. Wash us thoroughly with your blood. This is the week of passion that you went on the cross. Father, we pray, oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Father, we pray, oh Lord, the blood that you shed on Calvary. Wash us thoroughly, oh Lord. Bring us back into the heart of worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are praying to pray for the Father have mercy upon the nation of Cameroon, O oh Lord. As a whole nation, we come into your presence. Let your mercy speak, O oh Lord. Step into the nation of Cameroon in the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon us, O oh Lord. You are a faithful God. You are a wonderful God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. According to the Isaiah chapter 30, verse 18, Isaiah 30, verse 18, he said this, so the Lord, so the Lord must wait, you know, for, for you, you know, uh, to, come, to come to him so that he can show love and compassion. He want God to show love and compassion into the nation of Cameroon. He wants God to show his faithfulness into the nation of Cameroon. We are going to pray for the family sector. Father, show your love and compassion into the nation of Cameroon, O oh Lord. Father, show your love, O oh Lord and your compassion into the family section, section of Cameroon, O oh Lord. Father, let them have the fear of the Lord upon you, upon them, O oh Lord. Let the love of the Lord, let it reign in their life. Let it reign in their hearts, O oh Lord. Let they have compassion of coming near you, of depending on you in the name of Jesus. Help them to be a good parent to their children in the name of Jesus. Because we can see that there's high rates of mugging. There's high rates of of robbery in that nation, oh Lord. Let them bring their children in the way of the Lord. Let them touch their children in the way of the Lord. Let the cheap prayer and be taught in the way of the Lord. Father, have mercy, oh Lord. Teach them, oh Lord, how to bring them children in the way of Let the fear of the Lord, the wisdom of the Lord, the understanding of the Lord, let it be upon the parents, oh Lord, so they can bring up the children in the right way. They can have the spirit of obedience. Shall 
shall be upon the children, no Lord. Because they are living with because they have, you know, the the higher crime rate is quite high in Cameroon. But he wants it to come down. He wants the love of the Lord to quiet to start dwelling in the heart of the children, no Lord. Touch the parents, O Lord, to have the fear of the Lord upon them, upon the children, upon the nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for the educational sector, educational section. They said there is a lot of overcrowding classes due to increase of birth rate. It affects them because they, they have available seat of 1.4 million. But unfortunately, it has increased. To two, uh, it has increased to 2.7 percent, and and there's a lot of you know overcrowding. And when we can see overcrowding, the children are living in poverty; they are not being educated, uh, uh, receiving the appropriate education. It will affect them mentally and emotionally. They will not achieve the purpose of God. They will not have, have the, you know, they start going wayward. We are going to pray for that intervene into the education sector. Raise teachers. Even they said, raise teachers, missionary teachers are the one going. Raise more, have been raised more laborer to bring the educational section, oh Lord. Lord. Raise teachers, oh Lord, that have the fear of the Lord to teach the children in the way of the Lord. Father, raise missionaries, raise workers, the love of the Lord that like to teach your Lord to bring the children into the knowledge of God in the name of Jesus. Touch the life, touch the heart of the children, oh Lord. Every heart of so let it be turned into the heart of flesh. So when they were taught in the way of the Lord, when they are taught in the things of the Lord, it will sink in, it will generate, oh Lord, it will improve their life, it will improve their state of living. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray for the economy that because the economy economy is mixed with the government and privately owned and one of their main income is agricultural and forestry and fishing but we want God to breathe upon the economy of the Cam Cameroon in the name of Jesus father breathe upon the land Amen. breathe upon the land of Cameroon in Jesus name Father, breathe upon the land. Heal the land in the name of Jesus. Heal the economy of the land in the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon the land in the name of Let them do great exploits in the name of Jesus. Let them touch life. Let the economic touch life in the name of Jesus. Father, you know, bless the works of their hand in the name of Jesus. Father, bring people that will improve the economy, the mechanical side of it, the industrial side of, of the of the land, oh Lord. Father, raise people that would, you know, invent, do great invention upon the land to bring it up to standard in the name of you. You are God of helper. Send helps into the nation of Cameroon in the name of Jesus. We have help into the nation of Cameroon in the name. Send missionaries into the nation of Cameroon. Send great workers. Raise people in the nation of Cameroon to bring a great change into that nation. There shall be a transformation in the name of Jesus. As we wait upon you, O Lord, show your compassion, O Lord, upon the nation. Show your faithfulness, O Lord, upon the nation of Cameroon, in the name of Jesus. Father, I worship you. We give glory unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for the media sector and the heart. There's only one newspaper and privately owned television and radio. They are the one bringing out the news into that nation. But we want them, God, to use them as a tool in bringing good news in the name. That God should take over the waves. That God should raise missionaries that will go upon the radio and talk about the love of the Lord. That the love of the Lord, that they should open the airwaves for the gospel, for the good news, for transformation or for good education as well, that will educate people that, Father, raise people that have the fear of the Lord in the name, in team bringing good news into the nation, oh Lord. Father, one thing about the gospel, it brings change. It brings good education in the name of, it brings changes, oh Lord. Have mercy, raise, raise worker. For, you know, let them have, use the, use the television, use the radio, use the newspaper to bring it, to be a tool for the gospel in the name of Jesus. Father, have mercy, oh Lord. We are going to pray for the religion sector. 
One thing about the religion sector, they have Christianity, they have Islam, and all tribal spirituality. But we want to pray, put an end to pride, tribal spiritualists, that the love of the Lord should reign in that country. Father, put an end because according to the information, that's why the Father they, they still go back, seek another God. But we're going to fight here. Father, show your love into the Christian kingdom. Show your love into the individual of Cameroon. Put an end to tribalism. To put an end to spiritual tribalism in the name of Jesus. Father, you are the only God. You are only living God. You are the only living God, oh Lord. You send your only begotten son to die on the cross. He rose up again on the third day. And that gave us assurance that you are living God, oh Lord. Let the power of the resurrection, let it reign in Cameroon in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the resurrection, let it reign in Cameroon. Eh, Lord. Father, show your love, O oh Lord. Father, show your love, O oh Lord. Raise men and to go into the world and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Raise walker that we talk about the love of the Lord. That Jesus Christ came into the world for me and for them as well. That he na- was nailed on the for our sin and he died and he rose up the God which gave us the assurance that we are serving a living God Father raise walk our oh Lord to talk about the love of the Lord the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave it the only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have in the eternal, eternal life we don't want the people of Cameroon for their soul to be wasted but we want their soul to be saved oh Lord for our show their love, O Lord. Raise workers, raise workers, raise missionaries to go into the nation and talk about the Lord, that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lord and is the King of Kings. Father, I want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for the nation of Cameroon because you are mindful of them and we worship you, Lord. Father, I want to say thank you. We give glory unto you. Father, thank you, Lord. Because you are a great God, you are a faithful God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Before we're going to, before our Father in the Lord came, come up into the platform, we're going to listen to praise and worship. Amen. Thank you. My heart cry and deep down inside is to know you the one living God and to live a life unashamed My heart yearns and desperately waiting to hear you and calling my name with a voice that's The sound of a drum, the beat of my heart says, I want to know you more. Like a desert needs rain in the heat of the day. Yeah. I want to know you more. Help me to know you more. Like a heart that is lost. Searching for truth I want to know you more Like a groom is a bride With arms open wide, yeah I want to know you I want to know Help me to know you Know you more My heart Deep down inside is to know you one living God and to live life on a chain. My heart yearns, desperately waiting to hear you calling my name with a voice that is
Like a heart that is lost Searching for truth I want to know like a desert needs rain in the heat of the day. I want to know you. I want to know you. I need to know you more and more and more each day. Oh, that's all I want. I want to know you more. Every day, every morning. The psalmist says, Early you will hear my cries. My voice will you hear in the morning. Psalm 5 verse 3. On the 88th chapter, today is the 88th day of the year, 88th chapter of Psalm, uh, the son of Korah, they had to cry to God about some things in their life because they want to be saved from the sorrow they are going through. And they say, O oh Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline your ear unto my cry. Maybe that is the cry of many of us. He said, for my soul is full of troubles. Can I say to you, our God, on this season of this holy week, many people can be sorrowful and troubled, but can I tell you, you will have peace in the name of Jesus. And my life draweth nigh unto the grave. Maybe that's your story. Our God is the one that can draw people out of grave. He said, I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that has no strength. Can I give you a good news? That they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. He is the one that always gives strength to the, to, the, to the weak and to the weary. Can I pray the Lord will give you strength in the name of Jesus? He said, free among the, among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou remember no more, and they are cut off from the hand. Can I say to somebody this morning, if you think God has forsaken you, or forgotten you, the Lord is with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord never forsake his own children. He never sleep, never slumber. Our God is constancy. The Bible says, I am the Lord. I change the not. That is why the son of Jacob cannot be consumed. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. He said, Thou hast led me in the lowest pit, in darkness and deep. For seven of us, Psalm 88 says, The rock lie hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all the way. And he paused. And after I met he said, Thou hast put away my acquaintances far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shopped up and I cannot come forth. Is that your story? He said, My eyes mourned by reason of affliction, Lord. I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. But verse 10 say, Will thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? And he paused again. And he begins to ask questions. He says, shall the loving kind be declared in the grave? Or the faithfulness in destruction? Hallelujah. Shall the wonder be known in the dark? And the righteousness in the, dark, in the, in the land of forgetfulness? But he came to his senses and said, but unto thee have I cried. But unto thee have I cried, O Lord. And in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. Hallelujah. I love what the pastor started and says in verse 13. He said, Lord, you know my prayer before I even whisper it. At each and every sunrise, you will continue to hear my cry until you answer me. And I believe today is the day of answer. I believe today is the day of answer. Because the Lord will always answer. Because what he say in Psalm 56, verse 9 that we have been dwelling in. He said, when I cry unto thee, then shall my enemy turn back. For this I know. For God is for me. For this I know. For God is for me. For the, the one, this one thing I know, God is on my side. Say, God is on my side. And he's the one that directed me. Yesterday we are talking about our God, our shepherd. He's the giving us the direction and the leading. Because he's always before us. Can I pray this morning? The God that know the way, that parted the racing. We make the wind to blow and part every racing in the name of Jesus. We give you, we give up breakthroughs. We give up access to all the seven facets of the community. To every soul in this city, every soul in this nation, every soul in our, in our land. In the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. This God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He has paid everything in full. Amen and amen. And I mentioned that there are benefits of divine direction when God is before us, when he's directing us. I mentioned that there are divine presence. May his presence never leave us in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says in Psalm 16 verse 11, Psalm 16 verse 11, Thou shalt show me the path of life. May the Lord show us the path of life. In your presence the fullness of joy. Your joy will be full. My joy will be full. In the name of Jesus. I mentioned that we can, God cannot be absent when his voice is present. The voice of the Lord is present. That is why he called the voice to the nation. It's not the voice of the man. It's the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord will reach every household, every soul in the, over the face of this earth in the name of Jesus. And number two is the peace of God. Can I pray for somebody this morning? You will enjoy the peace of God. Isaiah chapter 48 verse 18. He said, you will have peace like a river. Can I declare and I declare that the Lord will make you to have peace like a river in the name of Jesus. Say, I, will, I have peace like a river. Open mouth, open destiny. What you don't ask, you don't, or you don't get. Praise the Lord. When God directs you, when you cry unto the Lord and your enemy turn back, there is and God is with you and giving you direction. Number three things is the provision of God. Say the, provi the divine provision. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, we see Jesus Christ borrowed the, 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 the ship of the boat of Peter. In the book of Luke chapter 5. Amen. This man had been laboring all night. And when he bought and he said, well, the man was a big giver. Peter was a giver. Reckless giver for that matter. And Jesus said, can I borrow your seat and your boat to be able to preach? Can I use your house to use it as a house fellowship? Can I use your, uh, your business to be able to propagate the gospel? Can I use everything? Same to you all the same. And the person said, no, I, you are the person that give me. Then you are the person that owner of everything. Use it. But when the Bible says in verse 4 of last Luke chapter 5, he said, now when he had less speaking earlier, let me tell you, and he said unto, unto Simon, he said unto Francis, he said, launch out into the deep and let down your net for a drought. Can I pray today? You will launch out of the deep. We will launch out of the deep in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says in verse 5, Peter and Peter, Simon, Peter begin to mention some things. I begin to ask many of us going to tell God, say that listen, there's no money in that account. There's no way that any money can come into that account. And by and Bible say, and Simon answering, Simon answering, I believe Simon is still answering today because it's as a continuing tense. And said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. For the past 87 days, we are told, we have tried everything. Money is not coming. We have tried, there's no healing. We have tried everything. No, there's no provision. He said, and have taken nothing. He said, nevertheless at the world. Say, nevertheless at the world. I will let down the world net. I will let down the net. Ne never, let me tell you, nevertheless at the world, I will let down the net. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, there's divine exchange on that cross of Calvary that it make us from our poverty to get our, po our prosperity. And God is going to prosper us in the name of Jesus. I'm going to mention about this pro provision of God. And verse 6 says, And when they had, when they had, done, uh, had this done, you need to obey. They enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. Can I speak to churches? Can I choose to that pastor that discouraged? The Lord says, this is your, you enclose a great multitude of fishes in the name of Jesus. A net breaking blessing. Can I speak to that brave business that, oh God, they have taught all the years. The Lord said this today, you are going to enter into season of net breaking blessing in the name of Jesus. Maybe you think things not working. The wine of your marriage is already gone. Remember the first miracle that Jesus Christ gone. The one that miracle that God, Jesus Christ performed was in Cana of Galilee. Can I speak to marriages? The Bible says in John chapter 2, verse 5 and 7, 5 to 7. Because after Jesus Christ was invited and the mother was invited, may you, may, when it matter, may the Lord make, uh, 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 make Mary to be in that location in the name of Jesus. Intercession to intercede on your behalf. Because his mother said unto the servant, whatsoever he said unto thee, do it. We have been saying, when in, in Peter, in what God said, he did it. And there was answer. And there, there were set there six water pots of stone. 
after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three five kings apiece. But Bible says, Jesus Christ said, and Jesus Christ said, he just said unto them, fill the water pot with water. And then they filled them up to the brim. And you know what happened. You know what happened. In verse 11, the Bible says, this beginning of wonders, of miracle, did Jesus Christ in Cana of Galilee and manifested for his glory. Can you say, Father? Say, Father. Perform your wonder working miracle. Oh Lord, in my life, in my miracle, in, 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 my, in my marriage, in the name of Jesus, manifest your glory. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, manifest your glory. In my ministry, in my career, manifest your glory. Manifest your glory in my life. In the name of Jesus, your Father, you manifest your glory in the life, oh God, of Peter. Oh Lord, you turn shame to glory. Oh Lord, Father, in that wedding in the corner of Galilee. Oh Lord, you turn sorrow, oh God, sorrow to joy. Oh Lord, you turn Oh Lord, shame to glory. Lord Father, wherever I'm experiencing shame, Lord Father, let my, let my glory come in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Isaiah 48, verse 15. Isaiah 48, verse 15. They say, I, even I, have spoken. Yea, I have called him. I have brought him, and he shall make his way prosperous. We are going to pray. Say, Father. Say, Father. This day, this week, this year, no Lord, for the rest of my life. Say, Father, make my way prosperous in the name of Jesus. Lord, Father, lead me forward on a prosperous, on a successful path in the name of Jesus. Father, from today onward, you are my leader. Lord, Father, lead me forward, O God. Forward, O God. Forward on a prosperous and a successful path, O Lord, of destiny in business, in career, in the name of Jesus. I need divine leading. O Lord, I need divine leading because you go before me in the name of Jesus. Divine direction Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. My God is my, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You will not want any, any good thing. Because Psalm 23 verse 1 and 2, he say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. He maketh me to lie beside the waters. Amen. The Lord will make you to have rest. I come to speak to somebody that has tummy and soul that is trouble, that's worried about everything. This, this day, the Lord will give you peace. Today is the 80th day. Double big new beginning. The Lord will make you a beginning of joy, a beginning of prosperity, a beginning of, 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 of abundance in the name of Jesus. Our churches is going to be full in the name of Jesus. No matter what is happening in the nation, no matter what is happening in your family, no matter what is the, the economy is speaking, because we know it, we are blessed. We are people of covenant. There's a covenant of blessing and abundance upon us. That covenant we speak this morning in the name of Jesus. Let us look about Isaac of old, one of our patriarchs. In the book of Isaiah, in the book of Genesis chapter 26, Genesis chapter 26, verse 1 and 2. He said, There was a farmer in the land beside the first farmer that was in the days of Abraham. He said, it's not, We are not alone. There are farmers already in the past. We can go back. If it has happened before in the scripture, it can happen now. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says, And Isaac went on to Abimelech, king of Philistine, unto Gera. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, at times, things can just happen. You begin to look for help, for ways. And the Lord appear unto him. May the Lord appear to us this morning. Oh, the Lord will appear to me this morning. In the name of Jesus. And said, go not down into Egypt. Say, I will not go into, I will not go down. Say, I will not go down. Oh, you are not hearing. Say, I will not go down. I'm on top of, on, 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 on mountain top. I will not go down into Egypt. Because whenever anyone come down, you go down into, into, into bondage. You will never go down in the bondage. He said, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Hallelujah. And we know the story. Invite the, the, and for obedience. Because to obey is better than sacrifice. Praise the Lord. If you are willing obedient, you will hate what? The good of the land. Verse 12 and 14 says, Then Isaac sowed in that land. May you sow in that land. May you sow in your own land. Will you sow in your land in the name of Jesus and receive in the same in the same year as on an hundred year hundredfold? Beloved, if you know the local assembly that you are, that's the place you need to sow in. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the Lord bless them. 
The Lord bless him. The Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. In the same year, he reached hundredfold. That is the 10,000% profit. You did you sow? We call one percent is one uh, percent is one fold, and hundred percent is one fold. Amen. And hundred fold is going to be ten thousand percent profit. Hallelujah! You sow something, you sow one pound, you get ten thousand percent what profit? Hallelujah. Hallelujah! And the man was great and went forward and grew until he became an envy of nation. He became very great. Say, Father. I'm not hearing say father say father the spirit of obedience let it come upon me in the name of jesus father whenever you speak to me let me act into your voice in the name of jesus lead me in the path of prosperity in the path of provision in the name of jesus can you pray this hour oh lord make my path prosperous make my oh god lead me in the way of righteousness lord i enter into reason since oh god of wonderful return in the name of jesus lord bless the work of my hand in the name of jesus may the beauty of our lord our God, rest upon me and let the work of my hand in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. When we are talking about the provision of God, when God leads us, the pasture must be green. Hello? When God leads us, even in the wilderness, God can create a green pasture in the wilderness. Praise the Lord. I keep on asking myself the outcome that Moses had to take the flock of Jethro, Jethro to the mountain. Addresses in the, on the mountain. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the wilderness. It means God can create a pasture. What? And the pasture in what? In, on, on a dry land. That is why he said in that Psalm 23 verse 2. He said, he maketh me to lie down in great pasture. No matter how dry, no matter how situation is in, you can be doing a business that they say is not working, but still, God can make that business to be a green pasture. Oh, you don't understand what I'm talking about. If God speaks, prosperity is the outcome. Oh, you don't understand my phone. Just let me tell you, if God speaks, prosperity is the outcome. That's why in that Isaiah chapter 48, verse 15, he said, I love the Passion Translation. Isaiah 48, verse 15, he said, I am the one. Yes, I am the one. Who called him by name before he was born? That is, uh, he called me by name before I was born. He called me St. Francis of Essex. He said, I have led him forward on a prosperous, unsuccessful path. Wow. Can I tell you, every path you are about to, if you are in Christ, oh, God is leading you. Amen. May we be led Amen. in the name of Jesus. Beloved, they say, that is why Jesus Christ, when he came onto this world, he came to on this parkour only week. To be able to exchange our poverty for prosperity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he does not want us, because he does not want us to be poor. Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. He said, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, he have everything in heaven. Yet for your sake, for my sake, he became poor. That you through his what poverty might be rich. You must have that kingdom mentality that I can never be poor. I want you to say, say, I can never be poor. Oh, speak it to the four corners. Say, I can never be poor. 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 That is why he move on in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. First one is 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 now. He said, and God is able to make all grace abound towards me and that ye always have been all sufficient. I pray you will always have all sufficient in the name of Jesus and may abound to good work. Let me tell you, a there's a prophecy exchange for prosperity at the cross of Calvary. And today, Jesus has taken everything because Jesus took our poverty and gave us his prosperity. He took our scarcity and he gave us his abundance. Say, Father, say, Father, I come on this holy day. Oh, Holy Week, in the name of Jesus, for, oh God, for divine exchange. Oh Lord, Father, to take away every poverty mentality for me, in the name of Jesus, and enter into prosperity, in the name of Jesus, in the prosperity lane, in the name of Jesus. So, Salibi, in Jesus' name we pray. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you, the cross of Christ is the mark of Christianity. Praise the Lord. The cross, Lord of Christ, is the mark of Christianity. Because at the cross, Jesus Christ died for our sins. Number one. 
He took our life of iniquity and infirmity and gave us his own life of purity. That is why we can come for we can stand on the righteousness. Can I repeat that? He took our life of iniquity and infirmities. Amen. And gave us his own life of purity and prosperity. Amen. That is why we can song. We call if God mark iniquity, you can stand. Our, our righteousness is just like a filthy rag in his hand. But we can stand in, in what? In under the cross of Calvary. On his righteousness. Let me tell you, to downplay the power of the cross is to miss the power of Christianity. Do, beloved, never downplay what? The power of the cross. Never downplay it. Because the burden of poverty is lifted at the cross of Calvary. The burden what? of what? Of of poverty is lifted at the cross of Calvary. Beloved, the exchange that took place at the cross is an overwhelming reality. It's a real thing. Please get this truth and do not forget as long as you live. You are not permitted to suffer what Jesus Christ already suffered. He has suffered for our poverty. We are not, poor. We are not supposed to be poor. Amen. He has carried he has suffered uh, or carry what he has already carried on our behalf at, at Calvary. Let us make up our mind to refuse to be poor. Say, I refuse to be poor. Oh, I refuse to be poor. Because my heritage in Christ is prosperity, not poverty. Because in those days they say he's poor as, a do as well as a church rat. No, it's not in the scripture. Praise the Lord. Because Jesus took our poverty and gave us prosperity. I want to give us assignment this morning and we are going to pray because we know God is leading us. Number one, always remember that at the cross of Calvary, your poverty, my poverty was exchanged for Christ's prosperity. Always remember. When enemy wants to suggest several things for you, just say, listen, at that cross of Calvary, my poverty was exchanged for Christ's prosperity. I have access to everything. Praise the Lord. Amen. And number two assignment that John does is reject poverty and embrace prosperity from today. Praise the Lord. Say, I reject poverty. I embrace prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Can you first say, Father, thank you for liberating me from poverty at the cross of Calvary. Say, Father, I connect your blessings to assess my prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Can you turn into prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for liberating me from poverty at the cross of Calvary. In the name of Jesus. I connect your blessing, O oh Lord, to assess my prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I connect your blessing on that cross of Calvary this morning. In the name of Jesus. I reject poverty and embrace, O oh God. I, I embrace prosperity. O oh Lord, my wife, O oh God, reject poverty. My children reject poverty. We embrace prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Live my connection, reject poverty. O oh Lord, Father God. Lord, Father. That every and every ministry committed we reject poverty. Oh Lord, embrace prosperity. Because you say, let them shout for joy and be glad. That and the favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. Which have pleasure in prosperity of the servant. Because of the servant of the Lord. Because you have pleasure in my prosperity and prospering. In the day of Jesus, according to Psalm, Psalm 35, verse 27. In the day of Jesus, Psalm 35, verse 27. In the day of Jesus, let God, let the Lord be magnified. Which are pleasure in the prosperity of my of my of my family of my of my ministry in the name of Jesus because the Christ chapter one verse seventeen the Christ chapter one verse seventeen say cry yet cry yet say thus said the Lord of hosts my cities true prosperity shall be yet be spread abroad and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion and shall yet choose Jerusalem in the name of Jesus oh Lord my city true prosperity shall be spread oh Lord Father my ministry will be spread in the name of Jesus true prosperity your ministry oh God my father Family, my business will spread in the name of your brother. The Lord will comfort Zion in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give us comfort in the name of Jesus. The Lord will see, choose your Lord Major in the name of Jesus from prosperity in the name of Jesus. Beloved, change your mentality because your mentality determines your reality. You didn't hear that statement. My mentality determines my reality. Praise the Lord. You must believe it. That I can never be poor. You can never be poor. And that is why we must not have mentality and mentality. We should not be thinking and want to borrow. 
Borrowing mentality is a poverty mentality. Praise the Lord. Because the Lord is my source. Amen. The Lord is my sustainer. The Lord is El Shaddai. Amen. Amen. We must change our mentality to determine our reality. Because the scripture make it clear that prosperity is the will of God for his people. He make me clear. I say we must see our reality in the scripture. We must see our picture in the scripture. Hallelujah. I can see it. Because he paid it full on that cross of Calvary. He said it is finished. It is tetelestia. Tetelestia. It is paid in full. He paid in full. He paid in full. Say I'm free indeed. I'm free from poverty. Now I enter into the blessing of prosperity in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, we just thank you. We have this mentality that we are prosperous in you. Lord, every day, every hour. For this reason, we call every arrow of prosperity enemy is thrown on all. Return back to sender in the name of Jesus. From today onward, Lord, Father, we are wherever we have messed up in, oh God, in managing our finances. Father, show us mercy. But Lord, Father, do not allow the cross of Calvary to be, oh God, in vain in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Beloved, I mentioned last yesterday the presence of God and the peace of God. Today is the provision of God. When God is on your side, you have peace of God, you have, you have the presence of God, and you have the provision of God. Let me tell you, your, your provision is here in the name of Jesus. If God can make a raven to give food to Elijah, if he can make a, a, a person that is poor to a, a, a widow that's about to die to give, he can supply your need. The Lord will supply our need. Within the next 24 hours, there will be a miracle of financial breakthrough. The Lord will make this day a day of favor. A day of favor in the name of Jesus. Where you are not expecting favor, favor will come. Oh God, where I am not expecting favor, favor will come. The wind of favor is blowing on my side in the name of Jesus. I want you to speak. Say, the wind of favor is blowing unto me in the name of Jesus. Favor from, um, from every corner of the world to the four corner of the world. Favor in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my Father. Provision of, uh, is landed. Prosperity is ours. Peace is ours. In the, the presence of God is ours. In the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you this morning. Beloved, for you to have a mentality that determines your reality, you must be, we must be in Christ Jesus. The Bible says in Proverbs 23, verse 7, he says, as the heart of man, he said, as a man thinking, is that so he is. Beloved, in Jesus, that's everything. If you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, this is the hour. Because it's Jesus Christ that has paid everything in full. You don't want the, crime, the death of Jesus Christ to, and they, that died on that cross of Calvary and rose again to be in vain. The sovereign. He was poor for us to be rich. Beloved, entering into that this morning. If you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, say, Lord Jesus, yeah, I am a sinner. Forgive me of all my sins and be my Lord and personal Savior. Even from now and forevermore. Write my name in the book of life in the name of Jesus. Lord, I handcuff myself. I tie myself to the cross of Calvary. That, oh God, I receive the divine exchange of poverty for prosperity. I have the mentality and kingdom mentality of prosperity for now onward in the name of Jesus. Congratulations for joining the family of God. It's a new day for you. It's a new hour in the name of Jesus. You will not fail. You will not falter in the name of Jesus. May the peace of God that surpasses all that understanding be upon and abide for us. May with us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my Father. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray. Amen. If you have prayer point or testimony or you have given your life, just send your details to testimonies at libertyconnections.net. Testimonies at libertyconnections.net. And surely we are going to contact you and address every issue between 24 to 72 hours by God's grace in the name of Jesus. May the Lord give you peace, joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we just thank you. You open your hands, you satisfy the desire of your people. By this time tomorrow, let everyone under the sound of my voice, oh Lord, have explained that divine exchange from poverty to prosperity, from lack to abundance, from curses to blessing, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, Father, from sorrow to joy, let your name be glorified. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray. Can somebody shout hallelujah? If you know and you know, you already have the, that divine exchange. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Open your mouth and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. The grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be and abide with us now. 
and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the day of my life. And now we do in that for the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. In Jesus' name. He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent.